Hi guys. Today I'll be winking all the Kooplings. If you don't know who the Kooplings are, uh, they are a henchman by a Bowser that actually has adopted children, or at least I think it's not really uh, explained yet. And uh, just uh, they work for him, and they are turtle, and they have shows and that shows that they are turtles, and yeah, they are his henchmen. By the way, I'm gonna be linking the Kooplings by uh, how they look and how uh, they actually work. So yeah, not only how they look. Hey guys, uh, this is the dealer's part of the bed. You also might notice that I included Bowser Jr. and Dexo being bad himself, Bowser. That's because I just had images of them and I just wanted to use them. So, so you might be asking, why aren't you using a, a real tier list? It's because like all of them are bad and you need to log in and I'm not logging into anything. So yeah, I'm just using Flip the Clip. And yeah. So first, let's start at the top. Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr., uh, a lot of people get confused with Baby Bowser. And yeah, I get confused too. Um, I think one way, um, I haven't seen Baby Bowser in a while. But I don't think he has this like white mask right there. Or maybe he does, I don't know. Anyways, so, uh, Bowser Jr. Bowser Jr. Where should I put him? He's a junior of Bowser. I'm putting him at C. I don't really, really. Why am I keep doing? I don't know. Um, he's not really, uh, um, in his battles. He's just like Bowser, except little and goes in a clown quite a lot. Not really like his design too much. The only thing really good about his design and his, is his mask. Other than that, he's pretty simple. And next, it's time for Y. Actually, uh, for Bowser Jr., um, his mechanics and games... I already talked about them, and that's so sorry I hit my head. Uh, well, sorry for that loud noise. Uh, Bowser's Jr.'s mechanics, I already said, or just a Bowser, except he goes into a clown car. And also, there's a thing I missed. Oh my gosh, stop talking, clicking, whatever it's called. Um, the thing I mixed was, missed was, oh my Okay, the thing I missed about Bowser Jr.'s mechanics is that when he's in a clown car and stuff, throwing little, like, machinery things that you have to throw up at Bowser in Mario World, he throws out, uh, uh, I forgot what they are, but they're usefuler than Bowser's things. I just forgot, uh, what they're called. Uh, on toy. Uh, if you don't know. Uh, he's a boy. I don't know why he's wearing pink, though. Probably a reference that I see in really every single video is they think it's a reference to real man, men wear pink. Wear pink. And I just don't wear pink. And because I don't like the color pink, instead of being an A, it'll be in a B. But his mechanics are pretty cool. And Mario might get your ground pounds, which stuns you. And then, uh, shoots fireballs that go all across the ground. I forgot how they go away, though. They probably just go away when they go back to their starting point. I forgot. Anyways, in, uh, in Mario 3, I don't know why I keep tongue clicking. It's getting annoying to me. Um, in, uh, Mario 3, literally every single time he jumps, it stuns you. Oh my gosh, it's crazy. Oh my gosh. I don't know how anybody would beat that. I did not try Roy. I did not get to Roy yet. Roy. Yet. In Mario 3, sorry. I have a problem with my eyes. Uh, so, uh, yeah. I think it would be a real pain in the back. In Mario 3. So, yeah. Now time for the main bad himself. Bowser. Uh, Bowser, I like his design more than Bowser Jr.'s. Uh, I don't know. I just like it better, even though Bowser Jr.'s is, like, the exact same. I don't know. I just like it better. Uh, and that's why I look like how in the picture he fights, uh, spits out a fireball. That's cool. That's cool. Anyways. Uh, oh, my gosh. His mechanics, uh, is, like, Bowser Jr.'s. 
except that clown card difference I made. And uh, yeah, not so. Uh, people think he's a giant lizard, which is wrong. He's actually a turtle. A turtle? Don't you see a shell? Uh, turtle that can fit out, spit out fireballs, which is very weird. And uh, anyways, in all the games, uh, except Meowser, like in all the times he's here, he always spits out a fireball. I think. In Mario 3's mechanics are pretty cool. He ground pounds and you have to like break the blocks below him. I give him an A tier. Boom. And yeah. Mario when he put he sucks though. Anyways, Wendy. She's the only girl in this whole entire list. Wow. Uh yeah. Uh I think I'll put in a B because her mechanics are like the same in every game. Uh, even when there's water added to the fight in Super Mario, New Super Mario 2, New Super Mario Bros. 2, uh, it's, it just makes her stuff slow, her wings slower. If you don't know what uh, Wendy does, she shoots wings out of her uh, wand and then they bounce up along the screen and it the water makes it pretty slow, so yeah. B tier. Anyways, now it's time for Ludwig, the oldest in the group. I have no idea where to put him. Uh, his hairstyle's pretty cool, but... You know what? In Mario 3, he was amazing. I'm putting him in S tier. And also, I know the other games, he's pretty good. He's th definitely the hardest coupling. And, yeah, he's definitely going up there. So far, no one has gotten to DRF. Um, not a lot of people know this, but Moiton is actually the second youngest. Uh, but he's actually way bigger than he's supposed to be. And anyways. No, uh, I think... Well, whatever. Uh, Moiton. Uh... Martin Jr. Cooper Thiggy. Uh, in the first time he appears in Mario uh, 3, Mario Tres, Tres, or whatever, however, 3 is in Spanish. Uh, he's pretty simple. He's just like a Larry, which is the simplest one. Well, but we'll go on to him later. Um, I think he's going into a uh, C. Second time going into a C. I don't know why he's kicking in the picture. He never kicks. And anyways, uh, and you might be wondering, what about the... <gasps> I made an oopsie. You guys are probably yelling at me now. You probably clicked off the video already. I mistake to Roy for Moiton. Oh my gosh. Uh, Moiton is actually the thing that I said Mo Roy does. Oh my gosh. Uh, what Roy actually does is he comes out of the ground wherever he wants and Mario like it too. But uh, Moiton does the thing I said Roy does. Oh my gosh. I'm so sorry about that. I hope you didn't click off the video. I, I fixed my mistake. Oh my gosh. Because his mechanics are cool. Mario make it too. He's going right there. That black. So far, no one has gone into D or F. Uh, Iggy is so simple. Like, the only difference he has in Mario Make It 2 uh, is he goes back and forth. That's it. Also, his fireballs are faster, but I think he, he deserves a D. Not, he's not the greatest. Oh, yeah, uh, and if we look at the style, uh, Moiton definitely deserved to be in B. His style is just too cool. And also, he's the only one that has brown skin. Cool. And anyways, Iggy, eh, I'm not really, I'm not really a fan of his hairstyle. I think he belongs in the D. And anyways, let me, if you don't know, because you're not a good fan of my channel, I literally have a plush of him. Let me get him on screen real quick. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Uh, I'll cut this part uh, off in the actual video. So yeah, you won't. Oh, hi guys. Uh, this is uh, where uh, the usual uh, the drawing of the day thing would go. Uh, but uh, I don't really feel like making draw uh, the drawing of the day stuff. And I'm sure you don't either. You probably thought it was just an annoyance. Annoyance, 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 annoyance. And, yeah, I'm not doing it anymore. So, yeah, you won't be seeing any more the drawing of the day thing. So, bye. No worries, I'm back. I really have a plushie of him. He was only in my last video if you watched the premiere. Uh, and that's why you can still watch it. But you just missed the premiere. You could have said something in chat like, Oh my gosh, it's so cool. Oh my gosh. Anyways, Lemmy definitely deserves to be an A. I mean, S. The design is super cool. Oh my gosh, I love the circus ball. Oh my gosh, he's my favorite Koopling. And anyways, his balls thingy that he shoots um, is pretty cool. It's definitely the most unique. Louie is super simple. He deserves to be in D. And the only reason he, he is in D is because of the cool story on his head. Oh my god. And anyways, he's the one I'm getting next. I hope I'm getting him, getting him for my birthday. Um, I mean, my, the next one I'm getting next uh, is for uh, the plushies. Uh, though I do like his uh, star on his head. I think he goes into uh, C. I do like him, kind of. Other than that, he's pretty simple. Anyways, there. That's the Koopling's ranked plus Bowser and Bowser Jr. ranked. You're welcome.